Okay, everybody, it is a mess out here in the garage with all these different projects going on, and I've had so many parts coming in, it's just time to organize here. Kind of busy today outside of working on the car, so let's just get started with this, and then hopefully later this evening I can get some actual wiring work done. Let's look at part of the problem here, and that is, that is this. This is a sealed beam headlight. I'm not sure how well you can see all the cracks. It, certainly the yellow color is no mystery to anybody. Even if I were to clean those up, it wouldn't look much better. Just a sealed beam housing there. Uh, let's try and compare this though from that to the new inside high beam light that's gonna go in the car. These are Hella H1 driving lights. These will go uh, on the inside of the car, and I don't mean on the interior, but I mean on the inside positions because this car does have four headlights. They'll be on the inboard side there, and they will be high beam only. So H1, there they are. With these, it's not a sealed beam, so it's a situation where you um, put an actual bulb in the housing there, kind of snaps in there, ground on that little tang on the side, and then just, well, it's only high beam here, so just one wire coming off. Uh, the new connectors for that I've already got in. Uh, gonna have to make my own for the high low beams. Got this, I think off of eBay or something. It is really hard to find something if you don't wanna do any splicing for the headlights. So I got these for the high low beams. Uh, the high only, we've got these. I think these came out of China. So, but they actually looked like they'd be about the best choice. Uh, ceramic fitting there, it's actually a pretty nice looking kit. They are uh, 14 gauge wire if I'm not mistaken. So we've got that going on. That'll get my headlights started there. Off to the side here, I'm not sure if you noticed, I've got these terminal blocks. Uh, really cool part about these is that they're keyed. Let's see if I can do this with one hand here. Um, they're keyed so they fit together with one another and they'll made up. So it's pretty cool. They've got little uh, brackets on the top so that you can uh, mount them wherever you want. And I'll have four of these. I'm actually going to use one relay for the uh, inside high beams, one relay for the low beams on the outside, high low, you know, the H4 style lights, uh, one relay uh, for the high, and then one relay for the fog lights. So four relays in total. Definitely overkill, I know, but. I'm one of those people where I like to have a little bit of, uh, of an option when things go south, especially with this car. If I'm stuck in the middle of nowhere with no lights, I want to have a few options and I'll definitely have that. For the fog lights, I'm just going to reuse the existing connectors at the actual fog lights since they have this style of bulb anyway. And I will run new wires though, so I'll just reuse that connector but we'll run new wires up to the relays. Need some connectors for the relays. Um, got these off of Amazon. 100 connectors for the relay. I don't think you can see it very well in there. Uh, most all of these are Hella brand parts. Uh, I, it's high quality, and frankly, for the money, um, I don't think it's worth it to cheap out. Uh, these, these for 100 of them, I think that was like 10 or 12 bucks shipped. Uh, so when you look at it price per piece, no big deal at all. That is going to pretty much do it for the headlights here. I mean, other than the relays and a couple fuses and things, uh, that's about it. If you guys have any questions about this, leave them down in the comments below. Or you could always check out my video on why and how to relay your headlights. A little bit different uh, video than what I am doing here. This is just the actual relaying of a four headlight car with the fog lights. The previous one just assumed you had just two lights with high low beams. But either way, leave a comment down below in the description or check out what we've got going on in the previous video. Uh, that might be it for today. It might not be. I'm not sure. We'll check back in tomorrow at the latest.